Hi guys and welcome, it's Katie Katz helping you grow your small business. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to print mailer labels using the Avery 5160 template. What I'll do is share with you how you can pull data from an Excel and print it into a Word document. Make sure you are using the latest version available with your Microsoft. If not, the interface may just look a little different. So I'm gonna go right into it by sharing with you the Excel spreadsheet where I have the name in one column and the address in the second column. Depending on how you have your data is how the data is gonna be requested to be printed. Now, make sure you save this Excel spreadsheet and have it easily accessible. So what I'm gonna do now is open a blank Word document. And in there, I'm gonna move pretty quickly just to help those that are most likely frustrated right now uh, needing help to print this. So go to Start Mail Merge, hit Labels. Once this screen pops up, this is what I want you guys to see that frustrated me the most was because the continuous feed printers radio icon was selected. You wanna click on page printers and have it at the default tray. That's gonna allow you to then populate the Avery US letter label vendor in order to choose the 5160 address labels that you see highlighted here. When this option, the continuous feed was selected, you are not able to find the 5160 label. So it got a little confusing. Go ahead and press OK. And from there, now that you're in the right template, you're gonna to wanna to pull your data from that Excel spreadsheet by selecting recipients like so. I have it on the desktop choose the spreadsheet and what happens is now it tells you do you want to go ahead and pull data from the first column if so i had headers and notice here in the first block the cursor is blinking now that's on purpose because what you're wanting to do is specify the data that you want per line item and by doing that is this insert merge field go ahead and click that Notice how Candy Cats, that line item can be inserted. Click insert and close. Now that the cursor is at the end, what you wanna do is press enter or return on your keyboard. Go back to that insert merge field again and select the second line item, which is the address. Go ahead and press insert, close. Now all of these codings look a little wonky and it might concern you, but how you can assure that that pulled the correct data is by clicking this preview results button, okay? Notice here all that information did carry over correctly. And from this point, what you can do is also modify your data. For example, maybe you wanna change the font family. I love Garamond, if that's how you pronounce it. And I like to center my data. So notice now how that changes everything. If I'm pretty happy with it, Go back to your mailings option and then click this update field. See that there? When you do that, see how all of this populates? You can now either print this as a sample on a sheet of paper or if you feel like you have plenty of, of the sticker templates to print off of, go right at it. I always like to sample it, measure it with a piece of paper next to a template to make sure everything looks aligned. If you are concerned about having enough templates, what I did was ordered mine on Amazon. And notice here, these aren't the ones that come in the hard cardboard Avery labels, they're your dupes. I got 100 of these sheets of the 30 labels totaling 3,000 for about 16 bucks on Amazon. Definitely at a fraction of the cost than the the labeled stuff. So I'll share with you guys a link on how you can access that exact same template to print and have no issues. So yeah, from here, if you're happy with everything, the last step is click the finish and merge like so and press print document. You can either do all or you can do, you know, one page at a time. And depending on how much data you have from that Excel spreadsheet, say I have 300 labels, you're gonna wanna feed your printer with at least 10 of those sticker templates, the 5160, and print it all at once. 
Hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And if you haven't already, thank you for hitting that subscribe button to support my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one.